How's it going, everybody? My name is Philip, and today we are going to be reacting to one of the great Mr. Charlie Chaplin himself. This is the final speech from The Great Dictator, a movie that I should actually probably watch in full. Um, but recently, uh, a friend told me that I should watch this, and um, like the, one little thing is that he, I guess, felt a bit not. It wasn't unhappy. Unhappy is not the right word. He was a bit. I don't think disgusted. He was a bit un unnerved, I guess, because how much he f not resembled, but like how much this this was like re like resembled Hitler in a way or whatever, you know, this whole Nazi and everything and whatnot. So it it, it was bizarre or something like something like that. That I didn't I wasn't fully paying attention when my friend told me that because. I was just like, okay, I'll add it to my list. And I was looking for it on my phone to add it to my watch later. And then he just, you know, drones on sometimes. So, anyways, I'm interested to uh, see this. I'm surprised it's not something I've, I haven't seen. I have not seen before. Uh, primarily because I remember in high school, we used to watch some old Charlie Chaplin stuff. And one of the ones that I sp remember specifically was he was like on roller skates. And he the, the, there was like a an edge like like this drop or something and he's just he's just tiptoeing the line he's just rolling around on the skates and i'm just like what the there's no cgi right and i'm just like bro <laughs> how are you do why are you do <laughs> knowing the fact that you know if he falls he he's most likely getting hurt badly like some like i'd be seeing some of those old uh stunts from like the old movies i'm just like they had one take for the most part like like there was the one scene with the guy on a train and he, and there's like stuff on the tracks and he has to get off and move the stuff and he falls he's getting sucked under he's dead you know like it blows my mind anyways so we're checking out the Great Dictator's final speech. Here we go. I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, yep. has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery <laughs> that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. Damn. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, die at you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, 
Don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie, they do not fulfill that promise, they never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. <laughs> now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! That was amazing. Like, if only we could actually take the ideals from this in the sense of we can literally make this place better, you know, uh, if we didn't worry about greediness and, 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 and all the assholes that are getting richer and richer, like, we could seriously do some good. And, and sadly, looking around, that's, <laughs> like, it feels hopeless a lot of the time because we're looking around, we're seeing, you know, people that are, that are making insulin, at least here in the U.S., upping the prices to ridiculous amounts so that people that want to live have a hard time actually living because oh well they they need to you know um, from the look, looks from the rich people that are making profit off it well maybe they should just stay away from stuff that'll make them have to use insulin actually no they probably don't think that actually never mind N never mind they're probably thinking the opposite they need to buy my product because they want to live. So they'll pay whatever it is to get my product. And it's not just insulin. That, that, that goes for everyone. You know, that's why scalpers are a thing when it comes to either music or, like, tickets. Or, like, even if you're into building computers. Because I know a couple years ago, like, they were fucking doing that with the whole graphics cards and shit. Like, oh, I'll buy this for 700 bucks and I'll sell it for $3,000 and I make a big profit. Like, I, I just wish there was a way that we can all just combat greed and greediness in people. Like, I, it's like, no matter what you throw out there, like, there's always going to be someone counter arguing or whatever or there's always gonna be a counter for every argument and whatnot and i just i i don't know i i totally agree that, that we could do so much good and yet there's so much corrupt bs going on it is ridiculous you know i, I don't like it but unfortunately I don't know what one person can do. Now, a group of people, 100%. And we all need to literally band together and, and get shit done. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that entails, I guess. I'm just, I, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. That was that really hits. I should I definitely want to watch more old stuff. Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello. I want to watch more of like comedian stuff and more just great speeches or great moments in in historical that was been historically documented or whatever. You know, I just would love to see more stuff, more classic stuff. You know, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and my little thoughts on it i know it's all kind of just jumbled and whatnot but thank you guys so much for joining me on this uh i should probably definitely actually watch the great dictator and actually see the whole film but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time